welcome everyone so today we are going to solve accenture aptitude question which was asked in last year okay so basically all these multinational companies have certain tests which you need to pass and certain rounds of interviews once you clear all of that then you can uh, you know get a job over here okay so this is like very new uh, i have not done this very often i had made one previous video of infosys aptitude question and a lot of you all liked it so i thought that let me just do one more of this if you want me to do more of these kind of questions or pick out those questions which are asked in these aptitude questions aptitude test uh, please let me know so in the comment section by typing a yes okay and i will definitely make more videos on the same so the first question given over here is if 3.6 h is equals to 1.6 k then find h plus k upon h minus k so very quickly first in this such a case we'll find out what is h upon k in order to find h upon k we will have to shift 1.6 and 3.6 to the denominator so here we get is 16 upon 36 because the decimal values or the num units after the decimal in numerator and denominator both are same so you can easily remove the decimal point so what you get is both of them go is in four tables so 4 upon 9 so now understand when you have something like this h plus k upon h minus k this looks basically numerator plus denominator and then we have numerator minus denominator right when you have something like this You just have to do whatever operations you are carrying over here. You can just do it over here as well. So four plus nine upon four minus nine. Now why have I done this? There is a completely different topic called as componendo and dividendo. Okay, uh, here just you know like I am not be I will not be able to explain the whole thing. If you want me to explain so, then please let me know so in the comment section. This is something which was which we had learned in school. Like you know in literally. Uh, uh secondary section i think 9th or 10th okay so basically we have 3 uh, sorry 4 plus 9 which is what 13 and 4 minus 9 which is what minus 5 so your answer now changes to minus 13 upon 5 so option b is your correct option students please understand if you like the way i'm explaining then please do go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also it tells the youtube algorithm that these kind of videos are uh, good for people who are looking for anything related to math or aptitude questions okay so in a way these videos will be pushed to people who are wanting to learn such kind of things okay so now the next question is find value of now there is a mod over here okay so first we have x plus 2 minus mod of 2x minus 3 then we have another mod which is getting close or the previous mod is getting close at x equals to 3 so let's put x as 3 over here 3 plus 2 minus we have 2 into 3 which is 6 minus 3 there is a mod then the end mod okay so now we have 3 plus 2 which is 5 minus 6 minus 3 is what 3 and that is a positive number so if you know if you take the, take it outside the mod it will become just 3 then your final answer now changes to 2 so here your option b is your correct option students you understand these kind of questions you might be thinking this is so easy and all of that but please understand not all questions are so easy there are few questions always a question paper will be a mix of questions okay but such kind of things you know when mod comes a lot of students panic so when that happens you don't have to panic when you come across mod all you have to just do is just do your simple calculation whenever you get a negative answer and you have to take it outside a mod it should be positive that is the only rule which you should remember okay so now the next one find the amount lost by julia when she sold a fan at less at a loss of 20% if she bought it for 180 so please understand what you could have done is you could have taken 20% of 180 and then whatever answer you get you get you subtract it from 180 but simply since there is a loss you subtract 20% from 100 so you get 80% of 180 and that will directly get you a answer you don't have to subtract or anything so when you multiply 8 into 18 you get 6 So you get one forty four, and that here in this case you will have to subtract from one eighty. Okay, sorry. See here the question was find the amount lost by Julia. Okay, so you just had to find the amount. 
so basically you had to do just 20 percent of 180 you would have got 36 and that should be your answer had they told you what will be the final amount at which we sheet to sold then this method would have worked brilliantly okay so now let's move to the next question also students don't forget at the end of this video i'm going to put up a diy whose answers you can mention in the comment section and uh, i will definitely let you know whether you are right or wrong so the next question is in a city the population of males decreased by 8% from 2018 to 2019 if the population in 2018 was 7200 find the population in 2019 so here what i told you previously would work so you subtract 8 from 100 so you'll get you'll directly do 92% of 7200 so when you multiply 92 into 72 so please understand you can split 90 as 90 plus 2 into 72 it becomes easier so we have 0 then we have 18 1 carry so 64 and you just have to multiply twice so which is 4 and 144 when you add them you have 4 2 1 carry 6 6 2 4 so option a is your correct answer okay students if you don't like this method of multiplying you can definitely do this multiplication directly also i have made a separate video of multiplying two digit number with two digit number there is a rainbow method in that you can check that out also that's also very easy to do but uh, since this was very close you could directly uh, you know uh, distributed 90 as 92 as 90 plus 2 so i did that method over here the link of that rainbow method i'll put up on the top or somewhere in the description please go ahead and check it out okay so the next question over here is the sum of present age of lucy molly and mary is 75 years the ratio is this then what is the present age of mary okay so now total is 75 and uh, what is the number which is representing mary is 6 right in the ratio and then you will divide it by the total of all these ratios which is 15 so you get 5 so you get 30 so your option c is your answer so now time for your diy you will let me know if what is the selling price if the article was sold at 20 percent profit whose cost price is 1680 so do let me know your answers in the comment section so that's it for today i'll see you in the next video